Would you believe me if I told you the Steam Deck launched over two and a half years ago on February 25th, 2022? Sure, it's been no switch in terms of sales, but this has been a driving force in improving Linux gaming, which was already getting pretty good before the Steam Deck and has only gotten better since. Getting your hands on one initially was a tad bit annoying, and after the whole pre-order thing was still kind of annoying with it only being available in a select few regions. One of the regions that was excluded was mine, Australia. But no more, that has finally changed. Just a few days ago over in Melbourne, PAX Australia happened. And it finally happened, it was finally announced, the Steam Deck is officially releasing in Australia. Now this does not mean that you weren't able to get one before. Whilst you couldn't buy one directly from Valve, of course resellers did exist. Across Kogan, Catch, Dick Smith, Amazon, of course eBay as well. And the pricing is... It was what you would expect from resellers, right? Because you're not just buying the device directly from Valve who is trying to make money on the device. You are buying the device from a person who is buying the device from Valve, so you have like double layer of people trying to make money off of it, and it was purchasable, we'll say. But for the official pricing directly from Valve, for the bottom tier 256GB LCD, this is 649 Australian. For the 512GB OLED, this is 899 Australian. And the 1TB OLED, this is 1049 Australian. Now, this is obviously more than doing a direct conversion from the US pricing to the Australian pricing. Keep in mind that US prices often don't include tax, so things are artificially lower than the price actually is. Also, getting things to Australia... Australia is kind of like far away from other countries, so getting things here is gonna add some price to it as well. But it is well within the range of acceptable pricing. It is much better than what you're paying for a reseller, which is upwards of two to three hundred dollars extra. Here we're in the range of a hundred dollars, which again isn't including what US people would be paying for tax anyway. In Australia, we have a sensible system where the price of a product is the price of a product. If there is tax on that product, that's part of the price. But also buying directly from Valve is quite a bit more trustworthy than some random reseller who you're just hoping is giving you the device you're actually paying for. You bought the 256 or the one terabyte and you expect to actually get that device, not, I don't know, one of the old 64 gigabyte ones which have now just no longer being sold by Valve because that was only there due to part supply issues. Obviously, a lot of platforms have like disputes and stuff, but you'd rather not have to deal with the dispute system and get what you want. Also, not super important, but it is kind of a nice addition if you don't have a million of them anyway. Buying it from the Australian seller, buying it from Valve actually shipping it to Australia, you're going to get an Australian power brick. Now, I'm sure that most of you have too many power bricks anyway, but on the off chance you don't happen to have a quick charge one, there's a quick charge one. Now, for the people in Australia who don't yet have a Steam Deck, do want to buy one, but didn't want to go and fund the resellers and do all of that nonsense, deal with the issues of maybe getting scammed, this is a really good change to see, and I'm very happy for those people. But what I think is a lot more interesting is what this potentially means for future Valve devices. Whether that be a Steam Deck 2 or some sort of refresh, because a lot of people are saying, oh, the Steam Deck's been out for two and a half years now, really new AAA games are going to start struggling on the device, and in many cases they are, you got to run them really low settings, so maybe it's time to do something new. I don't know if that's going to happen, I don't know if this is just going to be a one-off device, or what's going to happen there, or... Other things that might happen, like a future VR headset, or maybe a new Steam controller, or something like that. But whatever it ends up being, Valve is going to have new hardware products in the future. 
This is going to make it a lot easier to get those in Australia. Now, in the past, Valve has had partnerships in Australia. This was done through EB Games, and this is where they were selling the Valve Index. They aren't doing so anymore. This was cancelled about a year ago, which leaves a lot of people in a really weird position because uh, they also can't do warranty on the devices because that was tied to the EB Games partnership. EB Games, for anyone who doesn't know, is the Australian and outside of US branch of GameStop. This is not going to happen anymore. Also, I know there are occasionally Valve people to watch this channel. Um, This page is incredibly out of date. It still says the Valve Index is being sold through EB Games, which it is not. It also says that Japan is not being shipped to the Steam Deck, which it is. So, yes, yeah, somebody go and update this. Anyway, moving on from that. Press Start Australia spoke to some Valve people about what this means for future hardware releases. With the first question being, why it took so long for the Steam Deck to come to Australia, and whether there is some deeper meaning behind this. Why now was the right time? Why not six months ago? Why not two years ago? Why is it happening now? Obviously, PAX was a convenient time to announce it, but besides that, Australia was on our list and we had to make sure from a certification standpoint, and the answer is really boring. It just took until now to get everything lined up. So we needed to have logistics and shipping and a third party logistic partner and all of that lined up before we could ship officially here. And now we can. If it could have been sooner, it would have been sooner. Basically, um, Australia has a lot of regulations that are annoying to deal with. Also, it kind of exists here on a map. So it's a little bit far from a lot of other places. Now, if Australia was like, let's say, the EU, and there was 440 million people living here, things would go a little bit differently. It would be quite a high priority to get things shipped into the region. But the entire country has less people than just the state of Texas. So there are a lot of regulations that companies don't want to deal with. It's really far away from everything, so it's annoying to get things there. And no one lives here. So, I understand why it might take some time for a company to get things here if they don't already have established supply chains to get things into the region. Now, they were also asked, why not just do things like they did before and distribute through EB Games? It seemed to work with the Valve Index. Now, with the Valve Index, there was quite the upcharge on it, which is probably part of the reason it didn't sell that well and they ended up not continuing to sell it so why do it differently now we want to be able to sell through steam so sell through the interface that everybody else is buying through except in east asia who have their own website but it's still basically the same interface and part of that is that we're hoping that the investment that we put into the infrastructure would allow us to sell future hardware in Australia much faster. We just want to do it once and do it correctly and pave the way for future things. Obviously, future hardware devices would need to pass local regulations and all that fun stuff, but if you have those distribution channels there, that is one step of the chain that they no longer need to do again, which hopefully... Fing uh, that's hard. Uh, uh, there we go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Hopefully, not two and a half years for the next device. Now, with the sales, they are not doing pre-orders. You can go and add things into your Steam wishlist if that's what you want to do. But when this is available, it is going to be available from day one. I don't know how long it's going to take to ship to you. Considering that it's local, it shouldn't be that long, hopefully, but you won't have to wait, you know, six months for a pre-order to be fulfilled. Now that Australia's part of our hardware shipping regions, now that we're all set up, it'll be for all future hardware as well. Australia has been known to have some differences when it comes to selling a product at retail, so I wanted to know why did it take so long to come down under. It's not super exciting or novel. It's mostly like we had financial due diligence to just 
make sure that from a duties and tax and everything standpoint that we're set up to be able to legally operate and sell hardware here. This is kind of very important. I do, uh, I do appreciate that you have this set up so you don't end up selling devices and then six months from now they're like, hey guys, hey, um, you guys gotta like stop. And then they just disappear and just never sell in Australia again. And then once that was done, it's finding a partner to warehouse, receive, ship, take returns, ship to all of our other, like, between our factory and customer, and get that set up and tested. Tested is important as well. And even more boring details, like the warehouse, the partner we found here, is like their system is set up slightly differently. So we had some work on our side to plumb things through, so if you order on Steam, it'll go through and the order shows up in the right way. Not super exciting. Basically, the system they are using to manage sales doesn't necessarily directly hook up with what the warehouse is doing on their end. So you kind of got to like build some middle software and make sure everything actually works like it should because you don't want people buying products and then you find out it doesn't work. Now, as of November, we'll finally be able to buy the Steam Deck here. But what I think matters even more is if you have a Steam Deck, you'll actually be able to RMA it, which was kind of difficult to do with a reseller because the reseller's not going to do that. And since Valve technically doesn't ship to Australia, getting it shipped to Valve was probably not going to happen either. And then getting the device back from Valve was probably not going to happen either. It would have just been a giant mess that you just want to make sure you never need to RMA the device. You never have anything that goes wrong with the Steam Deck. Having an actual distribution channel here also makes that possible. Now, here is something else really important, which I hope going into the future is a consideration for where to ship the Steam Deck to next. Whilst it is really cool that I can get one in Australia, I already have one, but I guess buy another one or buy the Steam Deck 2 when that comes out. Australia is like 1.4, 1.3% of the Steam user base. Do you know what is the fourth biggest group on Steam? Brazil. And you can't buy it in Brazil yet. Now, it's not like there is no market for a device like the Steam Deck. There is a homegrown device from that region called the Tech Toy Xenix. So people clearly want something like the Steam Deck. This is a Windows handheld, so obviously it's a tad bit different, but you can chuck Linux on if you want to, and you can chuck Windows on a Steam Deck if you want to as well. I'm sure there are logistical reasons why this hasn't happened either, but hopefully in the future, that's another region that could be considered. So, let me know. Are you in one of the many regions that still do not have the Steam Deck being shipped to it? I would love to know. And if you do have a Steam Deck in one of those regions, let me know how you got it, whether it's through a reseller or a package forwarding service or anything else like that. I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scribes, Libera Pay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and... The Steam Deck is pretty cool.